Yo, hey, this shit hey. easy, nigga. Hey, I'm talking about, nigga. I'm still out here trying to get it. Contender regime boxing checking back in with y'all, man. What's good? What's happening? You know what I'm saying? Your boy fresh out the dentist, man. Got his teeth clean. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm saying? No veneers, no chickless around this hoe. But um, Earl Spence Jr., Earl the Truth Spence Jr., unified welterweight champion. What's next for the brother, man? What's next? I was just thinking about this. Of course, there hasn't been any uh, new news about you know, who he's going to fight or when he's going to return for that matter. You know what I'm saying? But I was just thinking like, you know, what does he come straight back? Does he, does he jump right back in the game and fight a dog like Danny Garcia, um, you know, or go straight after the Terrence Crawford fight or either, either the, um, even the, uh, Manny Pacquiao fight if Manny Pacquiao is willing to fight him, you know, does Earl Spence jump right back in the game after such a, a traumatic, you know, situation and event in his life, does he jump right back in the game and fight a dog? Um, to be honest with y'all, man, I think he, you know, since he didn't suffer any type of major injuries, as far as the reports say, you know, I think there's also a mental aspect you got to think about as well, you know, but, um, even though he didn't experience any of those things, as far as from the physical, I think it'll be nice for him just to just to reacclimate himself. Um, he got a mandatory, I believe, the guy that just fought Luis Colazo, he got an IBF mandatory. You know, if, if that guy's willing to get in, in the ring with Earl Spence, I wouldn't mind him go ahead, going ahead and, you know, ushering his way back with a fight like that. Somebody just like a touch up just so he can look good you know, uh, get him a, get him a stoppage, get him a knockout, you know, just to get his wings back up under him. You dig what I'm saying? And, um, you know, just, just get back into the swing of things. I definitely think that would be a good idea. Now I know he really don't have that much longer at the welterweight division, but maybe, maybe this, this, this situation that happened for him, you know, kind of encourages him to rededicate himself and maybe he becomes more disciplined and, you know, that where he can stay uh, around 147, a little closer to 147 year round, maybe like 155, 160. If he can do that, then I think that could prolong his his uh, his tenure at 147, which would allow us more fights because I want to see Keith Thurman. I want to see Danny Garcia. I want to see Terrence Crawford. I want to see Manny Pacquiao. I would like to see Earl Spence versus Ugas. You know, so I think, you know, if he could if he can do that and open up more opportunities at welterweight, I think that's great for boxing and I think that's great for Earl Spence. But I think coming back, man, he should probably, you know, take a little small touch up just to kind of get back in the swing of things. And then after that, he looked good. We know the mental aspect is 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 good. You know, he ain't having no type of PTSD or any type of anxiety or you know what I mean? And, um, you know, hopefully there isn't there aren't any like crazy lacerations to where it's some scar tissue and, you know, you can have the potential of cuts being reopened up and things like that. You feel me? So I think it's a it's a lot of different things to consider, but I would love to see Earl just kind of come back, you know, uh, fight somebody that's that's not no killer, beat up on him, look good, feel good. And get ready to get back in there with the likes of Danny Garcia, Terrence Crawford, Manny Pacquiao, Keith Thurman. You know what I'm saying? I just, I really think that's the move. I think that's the, that's what, what should go down. You know, but it all depends on how the brother feeling. You know, if, if the brother feeling good, if the brother feeling like he can come back and just, and he ready for the world, he can fight Terrence Crawford right off the back. He can fight danny garcia right off the bat man hey i'm rocking with it you feel me it's all about how the brother feeling man but i just want to hear y'all thoughts man what what do y'all think is a good return plan for earl spence you know how should he usher himself back into the game of boxing you know and, and, and pick up right where he left off man so y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments man contender regime boxing i holler at y'all boys man